My relatives, I give thanks for this day, a very historic day that we honor the spirits of residential school survivors and those that did not survive. We honor their spirits today and we're here to give thanks that after so many years that we can commemorate who they were as indigenous people. Today, we want to elevate them no longer as victims, but as champions to be able to undergo such turmoil and pain, untold atrocities as little children, helpless and able to defend themselves from the harm that was brought to them. But after so many years, we chose this day to place a monument in the city of Thompson. I'm thankful that the city of Thompson is here to help us with this unveiling because this is very important to us. And I cannot begin to thank enough the top Thompson Urban Aboriginal Strategy team for making this possible, for bringing us together, to bring us together as people in solidarity, in making sure that those lives will be remembered forever in the city of Thompson with the unveiling of this monument. I'm thankful that you've joined us because this story is not a very pleasant story for our people. It's a very dark chapter in our history, but it does prove to you and to us that we are a strong nation and we have been a resilient people. And today we want, just want to show that to, to the people at large. Our people have been through much. Our people have been through much pain and suffering, but we're still here. But today we honor the survivors of the residential school system. And those that did not survive, that died in the residential school system, some are buried in the back of the churches, in the back of the residential schools in unmarked graves. We will remember them today. So there's no monument for them. This is their monument. This is their time to be remembered and we do it together. I want to thank everybody for being here. It makes me feel happy to see the mayor and the council and the people in the city, the RCMP and everyone else from the city to join us because this is a very sacred time for us that we are allowed to honor the memories of our people that went through the residential school. So I just want to say thank you for being here. This is very, very important to us. I am very moved as I stand here. I am very touched as I stand here because those stories that I've been told only in the last 20 years, people have, start, have started talking about what they went through in the, in the residential schools. So I have nothing but admiration for those people. And if you are here as a residential school survivor, I honor you today. You make me proud. You make us proud. I'm thankful that you're able to still continue to walk among us in spite of what you've been through. 
So I just want to say thank you to everybody for joining us because this is very important. I want to thank the elder, my relative, Jack Robinson for opening in a very good way and uh, our very own Justin Crochane for singing that memorial song because truly this is the time to commemorate our people that went to the residential schools.